love, I love you. Yeah, yeah. I love, I love. I know I don't have a good voice. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a beautiful, cold day today. I hope everyone is doing okay. So in today's video, I want to tell you guys how I, you know, how I snap myself out of some moods that I enter sometimes when I'm feeling sad, when I'm feeling down, when I'm feeling, you know, like. The weight of the world is on my shoulder and all that things that i do not like everything i don't do everything on my list every time but when i just do a few things you know i just snap out of it and i'm back to my happy bubbly self so if it sounds like something you want to watch or something you want to know please keep on watching and do not forget to subscribe okay. Being a mom is intense, like married or not, stay home or not, being a mother is a lot. It can be really intense and our mental state, or my, I don't know about every other home, though, but my mental state is really important because it reflects on every other, one, every other person in this house. Like if I'm happy, everyone will be happy, everyone will, you know, be, and if I'm sad, I'll be cranky, I'll be irritating everybody, I'll, everybody will be getting on my nerves, I'll be getting on everybody's nerves. So my mental state, my mood is really important as a mother, as a wife. So I try not to joke with it. Like I try to always pick myself up when I start feeling down. But to be honest, sometimes I'm really down. Like a lot just runs through my head. I try to avoid it, but it happens. And I'm sure someone out there can relate with me. Like, is it that, especially as a stay-at-home mom, sometimes I feel underachieved. I feel like I'm not out there conquering the world like other women are, or even like my husband is. I feel like I'm not doing enough, even as I'm at home with my child. I feel like I'm not doing enough for her, you know, even with domestic things. And also sometimes it just, or is it what is happening around the world right now? Like, all the plans that are on hold because of it or some that have been shattered because of you know the pandemic and all that so sometimes it gets to me and you know i just always try to figure out a way to just you know get out of it and the first thing i'll say i do all the time that works for me is i just take out time and spend time with god like even the bible said in the presence of god there's fullness of joy so it's almost impossible yet sometimes it doesn't work to be honest like to be really honest but it's almost impossible for me to spend special quality time with god and not snap out of that you know sad feeling because and it's not like i now just go and be praying and kabashing sorry to say that would probably make me feel worse if i start praying about all my needs and all the things that i want what i what works for me is i just worship like i just sing worship songs i just reflect on how far i have come in life what he has done for me I'll, you know just show my gratitude for all his blessings and just sing like even if i can just get 15 minutes alone by myself i do that if i'm in a situation where i'm home alone with my child i can't leave her in a room alone even though she's there with me she's playing i'll just be singing and you know just for as long as possible sometimes it's in the night that's what i'll be doing to like fall asleep and things like that so the number one thing i do to you know stay happy stay positive stay calm is to take out time and spend time with my creator like it's really important so i do that if it's something that anyone will be into that's the number one thing that i do the second thing i do is i make sure i'm not comparing myself with anyone like when i get in that mood i try to reflect how i got there what triggered how i'm feeling currently and i just make sure that it's not because i'm comparing myself with anyone no matter how similar our situation might be even if okay you also had this lady or this mom also had a nine to five before she had a child just like me and you know just even if there are similar things that's what if i start blabbing even if there are similar things with my life or my situation and that person's situation i try not to compare myself to anyone anyone no matter how tempted i am sometimes i try not to because everybody's story is different everybody's journey is different um we're all different human beings and the truth is that people only show you what they want you to see that's the gospel truth people only show you what they want you to see so when i see things online i try to remind myself this is what this person wants you to see when they th talk about how you know how their child is already talking at um maybe the child i same age with my own toddler is already talking can already tell what color is what color and things like that and you know maybe for some reason 
it's getting to me i'm like okay but i don't know how chaotic her house can be i don't know how um the kind of um dreadful um, tantrums that the child throws you know they're just just when i tr- when it's getting to my head i just you know quickly snap out of it like i can't compare myself to someone my journey is completely different from this person's journey and most importantly people only show the good parts so seeing something online or whether it's instagram whether it's even whatsapp or whatever is just what the person wants to show it, m- it might not be the entire truth so why should i allow that affect my mood so the second thing i make sure i do is not to compare myself with someone else and you know even with body people that had their child the same time i had my own child and their their tummy is already like you can see packs you can see abs and all that i don't compare i don't let it get to me as a matter of fact there are some pages that on instagram that i stopped to follow when you know they just keep hammering on how your body needs to be perfect how if you're so so if your um height is this if your hips is this then your waist should be this and i know that is not what that's not the case for me and i'm trying my best like i cannot come and go and kill myself i have stopped following those pages and even humans that as in other women that had a child and you know they snapped back like four weeks after they had their child they are looking perfect again i'm like "Mm -mm, you're not about to do that to me you know or the ones that are doing it all they are doing their career they are doing their motherhood journey great wife still traveling the world you know kicking asses i'm like okay 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 okay. don't come and make me feel one kind i'm happy for you um you know you I, you inspire me but this is me i can only do one at a time right now all i can do is be a mother so <laughs> chase that career let me just sit in my house and take ice cream so yes i don't compare myself to someone else and another thing i do is i try not to do everything I am not a Jackie, so there's no point acting like I am a Jackie. I make sure I'm not trying to do everything because I sincerely cannot. That's just the truth. So yeah, another thing I do is that I try not to make sure, oh, I'm doing everything, oh, superwoman, oh, I'm so strong, I can get this thing done, oh, in one day I can do this, that, 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 that. Okay, as I'm a mom, I can run five businesses, I can still go back to school. (sighs) I don't do that. So that's another thing that I believe helps me stay you know calm and positive because i don't overwhelm myself with goals and targets and all that so yeah that's something that works for me another thing i try to do when i'm beginning to feel all moody is just to take pleasure in the little things that i can accomplish i mean i've already said it i stop trying to do everything like once i notice i'm in that mood i'm like okay 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 i'm not trying to do so much like i just if it's possible for me to physically take my to-do list and just empty it like just okay 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 i'm not doing any of that this week i am only going to survive that's all i'm doing then the next thing i i do is just to take pleasure in the little things that i can do if all i can do today is fold clothes then fine by me if all i can do today is just you know um provide nora with her basic needs just bathe her feed her change her diapers then i'll take pleasure in that tomorrow will continue so i just take pleasure in the little things that i can do no matter how small it might be to someone else that is all i can handle today with my mood and that is all i'm sticking with so yes i also take pleasure in the little things that i can do and i'll say the fourth thing i do is i i have fun in my mess like i just i just celebrate my mess i just you know have fun in the moment enjoy it because i know she'll not be this young forever so if if you know i wake up one morning and i'm feeling overwhelmed and you know the house is a mess she's scattered everywhere her toys are all over the place and stuff like that i can't even figure out what to eat i just still enjoy myself sit down on that floor self and play with her with the toys like because she will not be this young forever she will not i will not have this sole responsibility to clean up after her forever so i enjoy it while it lasts so yes, I just I, I I celebrate my mess. I don't know if that makes sense, but you know, I just I'm just like okay, today you want a scattered house, we're going to scatter it. Like fine, we we'll all do it together and all that. There's something that I know she likes to do. She likes to pull out um, bed sheets from the bed and while she's standing and cover her face. And she started doing it when she notices when I'm making the bed how I shake it, and somehow she finds that interesting. And sometimes after I've perfectly made the bed, she will go and pull it out and i cannot kill myself i will join her all of us will be two of us will be playing with it and all that so yeah another thing that um i do when i'm getting moody is i try and connect with people aside my husband i just try and reach out to people i always make sure that a day or two doesn't go by without me talking to someone outside my home 
yeah because it just makes me feel like okay i'm not in this world alone you know i'm not going through life by myself but when i'm really feeling moody i try to connect to more people and the truth is for me this is what works i tend to connect more with people that are not in my situation or do not we don't have so much in common in terms of being a wife and being a mom and i love my mom friends like i'm glad we're all doing this thing together i get to pick their brains every now and then but sometimes i just need my single friends i need my friends that you know will not just come and talk about baby 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 motherhood motherhood mother just talk about things like random things that you know will not remind me of you know what i'm trying to escape if that makes any sense so yes yeah, staying connected to people helps especially when i stay connected to people that at, we don't have similar or we're not in the same boat let me put it like that we're not in the same boat um as much as yes if my all my friends if they want to get married i wish them that i wish them a happy home i wish them lots of children as much as they want but why they are still single i love spending time with them i love talking to them i love connecting with them like there are people that it's almost as if they are my speed down like it, it's i just have to reach out to them sometimes or there are some people that i actually tell them how i'm feeling and you know we talk about it and that's so why there's something that i don't even need to tell them anything i just need to maybe see something on instagram and call them about it and we just 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 we've talked for 30 minutes one hour and by the time the call is done i'm feeling a lot better like sincerely feeling so much better so yes staying connected with people help and another thing i think is the sixth or seven i'm not counting another thing i do is music and dance party like yo that thing works like magic especially when you can add some wine in between you know just play loud music and dance i just let myself lose i do this i already started doing this because i was trying to you know make my child fall in love with music but i noticed how it helps me how it helps my mood so i do it even for myself like even if i don't care what she's doing i don't care what she's watching I change the channel to a music channel and I just allow myself to enjoy it. So I call it my dance, my music and dance party. I just allow myself to dance and just enjoy it. Even if all I can be sipping is yogurt or something, but I just enjoy myself with music and dance. So that's something else that I do that, you know, brings me out of that mood. When that I do is I try to minimize clutter. I don't know if that makes sense, but seeing my house you know i don't want to say littered because littered is not the right but when i see a lot of things in my house like piles of clothes or piles of anything it can get me overwhelmed so i try to declutter when i'm feeling overwhelmed when i'm feeling moody i declutter i open everywhere open all my windows open all my blinds and just allow fresh air to come in like we underestimate how much fresh air can brighten our mood like it's so important fresh air is so important for our mood so i open everywhere if i can take a walk i even go out take a walk but yeah the first thing i try to do is declutter my my environment if i have clothes that i washed and you know i've not yet sorted it out and i wake up one morning i'm feeling somehow i try to start with that there's a probability that when i'm done with that i feel better i try to clean the house you know just organize things and by the time i now shower and take a deep breath i discover that i'm feeling better because the house isn't you know the messy house is not overwhelming me anymore and things like that so yes one thing i do is minimize clutter and just open up the house for fresh air i don't open my door because of mosquito but open up all my windows for fresh air then something else that i try to do is to indulge in things that i find interesting if it's a if it's movies i feel like watching which everyone know everyone that knows me know that i'm a lover of movie like if it's movie i indulge like i don't care what i'm supposed what else i'm supposed to be doing or what else i planned for the day but if i'm feeling some type of way i indulge in movies i indulge in food forget fit farm like fit farm can, can wait it's someone that is alive and in a good mental state that does fit farm so fit farm cherry i indulge in food i eat what i want to eat if it's something i have access to i indulge in movie i can do a movie marathon three movies in one day if i'm feeling some type of way i'll do three movies in one day like i'll only be taking breaks for us to eat but nothing else um i exercise if i'm feeling up to it exercising sometimes boosts my mood sometimes so, so guys i just briefly told you guys I, I i initially told myself i was going to be counting what i'm saying but i don't know whether i said eight things or nine things or ten things maybe when i'm editing the video i'll try and figure it out but these are the things that i do to help me you know stay 
happy, stay in a good mood, stay positive, motivated, and, and not just be carrying face around the house as if somebody took my bread and all that. So yeah, I hope this video helps someone and please don't forget to subscribe. You guys are not subscribing to my channel, please. It's not a big deal. Just hit the subscribe button there, hit the notification bell. And so every time I upload a video, you get notified. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video.